students. Welcome to Mathematics in Action lesson number three. Now, when we are through exploring, you will be able to calculate the difference between terms in patterns and use these to make predictions. So let us try this activity, identifying patterns. This is shape one. How many rectangles do you see? Yes, one. This is shape two. How many rectangles can you count? Is it two or three? If you say three, you are correct. Let us check. There is one here, one here, and another here. So we have three rectangles. Now, let us look at shape three. How many rectangles do we have in this one? I counted six. Let us count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many rectangles do we have in this one? Do you have a pattern emerging? Let us count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You have done well. Now here is a table that shows the shapes we have completed so far. Do you see the pattern? Hmm. No, miss. I do not see the pattern. Me neither. All right. Let us take a closer look at the number of rectangles from shapes 1 to 4. Are the number of rectangles increasing or decreasing? Increasing. Very good. If you look at the table carefully, you will see that there is a change in the number of rectangles as the shape number changes. Tell me now if you see a pattern. Okay. From shape 1 to shape 2, the rectangles increased by 2. 1 plus 2 equals 3. And from shape 2 to shape 3, the rectangles increased by 3. So, 3 plus 3 equals 6. And from shape 3 to shape 4, the rectangles increased by 4. 6 plus 4 equals 10. I see the pattern! Me too! First, the rectangles increased by 2. Then 3, then 4. That is amazing! 2, 3, and 4. So the next shape would increase by 5 rectangles. Exactly. So 10 plus 5 equals 15. So shape 5 would have 15 rectangles. Shape 6 would increase by 6 rectangles. So 15 plus 6 equals... 21 and shape 7 would increase by 7 rectangles so that is 21 plus 7 equals 28 we did it high five very good can you now identify the pattern in numbers what happens to the last two digits when numbers with five in the units position are squared. Hmm, 
25, 25. I see it. The pattern is the last two digits are always 25. Yes, I see it too. The result is always 25. Very good. You are indeed correct. What is the relationship among the numbers 25, 35 and 625? Okay, let us look at the first digit of each number. Two, three, six. Do you see a relationship there? I think two multiplied by three equals six. So, we just multiplied the digits in the tens column of 25 and 35 to get the six in 625. So, what if we multiplied the digits in the units column of 25 and 35? That would be 5 multiplied by 5 equals... 25! Yes! 625! Whoopee! Yes! The product of the tens and units columns of 35 and 25 is 625. I know you are having fun with identifying patterns. So here is one last question. Identify an algebraic expression that can be used to represent any term in these patterns. Okay n multiplied by n and n multiplied by n is the same as n squared so n squared equals 625 that's very good so what if you were given n equals 25 so 25 multiplied by 25 equals 600 25. Good job, students. Well done. So today, we have explored making predictions from patterns. You will be able to calculate the difference between terms in patterns and use these to make predictions. There are patterns all around us. And this is just one of the ways you can observe mathematics in action.